Guess what I saw here? Stop work. Produce permit by A A K D A on the third of January 2024. Have you seen this anywhere on any video here in Ghana? If yes, it means that by law you need to have your building permit before you start building for everybody it is not only for locals or for foreigners it's for every soul who want to build on the motherland you need to produce work permit that is the best thing to do now someone will ask so of course should i wait for the work uh, the, the, the building permit before i start work or what i will tell you more about that but this is the second video that i'm making from my sable look at the brothers over there they are trying their best to pull or to push a mixer cement mixer concrete mixer to the top over there this work at the end of the day how much are we even paying them to do this work that is our problem as Ghanaians we lack we refuse to use technology wisely look at these brothers about 10 of them trying to pull all these things up there i don't want to get closer because it is not right to show their faces you know but they are trying to work they are trying to do their work okay guess who is here are you the one building there hey so matthew you are the one making these people pull this thing matthew must be punished matthew gotta be punished okay so like i said we've walked over more than 40 minutes yeah into the asebo pan-african village and like i told you there are a lot of building projects ongoing a lot of it look at matthew look at his stomach <laughs> Matthew <laughs> Look at Matthew's stomach <laughs> Morning, morning Hello, How are you? Yes, I'm going to go to the house Yes, I'm going to go to the house Yes, I'm going to go to the house Look at Matthew, this is Matthew I'm going to go to the house too great It's been a long time I saw Matthew Yeah, so you are the one doing this one? This one. But there's stop stop working. Charlie, let me drink your water. Right? Ah. Chilled. Hey, Banama. It will not be that but uh, oh, one side you want. Right there, but I have I Uh, so I think Matthew is supporting this project. Here, here will be basement, and then the building will come on top. Look at the brothers. Look how they are suffering. Oh my God! Let me zoom them. One of the issues that happen when we tell you that, okay, Echo, I'm going to do this. Or when we tell you that, okay, today we are going to start your construction. And then you get here and then the generator won't start. Whose fault is it? Chairman. What are you going to do about it? The generator doesn't want to start. Oh, you're right. Rate is failing to start. Good morning. 
We're gonna be here for a little bit just to see what is gonna happen. But these guys are gonna paint the the wall, the fence with a that thing. Now I'm gonna ask Matthew more about this thing. boss came and he fixed the things and fire so look I don't know today I'm, I'm just happy I'm just happy I don't know why I don't know what is going through me like I came here in the morning and I'm loving everything that I'm seeing here I'm loving everything that I'm seeing here so now that the, the generator has come up we're gonna pump water Yeah, now the water is flowing. They just put on the generator and then switch on the switch that is connected to the pump. So, when you ask someone to come and build for you, and then you have a borehole here, you need to find a way to bring electricity here. So what most people do is that they'll bring a generator like this one, and then power the pump so that you can have water to the top over there. All right, so uh, there's gonna be painting I don't know what this paint is let me ask Marty where is he Papa, Papa. So. Mm, we are tired why won't I be <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me climb up the thing sit there Money man, we are. It's a cash up, and I'm going to be a thing. Give it a little bit. Ah, yeah, I want to go. 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 It's been a long time. Yeah. You have a lot of work to do. I have clients who want you to work for them. But <laughs> Matthew, let's talk about this thing here. The beauty mean emotion. What is it? What is it for? So this beauty mean emotion. And it is being applied inside this building. When okay. you finish the foundation, okay. it prevents dampness. 
the rising downwards. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to now, now we are going to use it to paint the inside. Mm. Then it will prevent the moisture rising. Okay. Okay. Before even that you even apply this one, you will we have we have already prevented with the DPM. This one. The damp proof memory. This that one. Is a yeah. yeah. We putting it at the base of the burden. Okay, before well, before you put the, put the concrete. concrete on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can see some over there. So, and what is the work of that? It it prevents water from coming. Yeah, and because this one too is a basement, but then the other side, it will receive more damp. Okay. So we are using that one to prevent it. We will paint it with the bitumen, mm. but after we will put that rubber okay. to our the other side before we will fill it. Mm. So this one we are going to fill it with what? It's sand, a filling material. Mm. Before we put the oversized concrete on it, but before then we are going to paint everywhere the, the inside to okay. prevent what the moisture rising. Okay. When you say moisture rising, me I don't understand. It's like Break water. It Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes when you finish building, you will see that the inside, mm -hmm. when some when you are sweep, sweeping, mm -hmm. inside, you will see that it, the yeah that it that place be, is coming off. Yeah, yeah. wearing off, to be mm. coming off. That what we want to prevent. prevent. We don't want okay. to see that thing. Okay. Okay. Then we just want to prevent it. Okay. Okay. So, but that thing can uh, destroy the building. Yeah, it's like those things. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to break down just like that, but it will just deform the building. The building. You will paint it, the following year you see the paint has been deteriorated or it has changed its color. Color, yeah. Okay. Okay. So so if you are building in anywhere, you have is it anywhere? Uh, not only waterlogged area that you need to prevent but here yeah, it's not a waterlogged area but we are doing what preventing it mm. but that may, it may be that there's water somewhere, somewhere there, the yeah. person will feel it so near future due to the capillary action mm -hmm. the movement of the yeah. water it, yeah. it may it, come it, down yeah it will way. affect this side too okay so i have, have seen... to just prevent it before it's happened okay i have seen a uh, stop work produce permit the stop work um, produce permit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let me. I wanted to ask a question. Yeah. Um. If I want to start building, do I have to wait to get the building permit, or as I start, I can send in the request? Whilst I'm doing it, I'll be waiting for the request. Oh, uh, when you want to build, the first thing you have to do is you get your document your architectural drawing mm -hmm. when you get architectural drawing you send it to the hut the district work department yeah for your permit okay they will come and inspect the site mm -hmm. when they come for inspection they will just give you some advice okay do this do this do okay. this do this okay before they will give you the go ahead that, oh you can start building, building. Mm -hmm. but if you don't have any permit, you don't have anything that you just start burden, that's what you will see. Stop work, okay. use permit. Okay. Okay. So if you want to start burden, it just is advisable that advisable, very concrete advice to you that you have to get to architecture drawing, mm -hmm. move to the uh, district work or uh, wherever you are. Is it the municipal or mm -hmm. the district? district yeah. You go there, you seek for your permit. Before, before you start, start the building. building but sometimes it takes too long it doesn't take too long when you go there today they will just come for inspection they, <laughs> we've sent some there no 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 if you go there today they will come do inspection if you want to start with they just talk to them like, oh because you want to start we, we want to start with our building so what are we going to do they will say oh okay then this is the amount that the government is charging you pay go and start Ooh. and before then they will do then, that then they would yeah, also be doing the processing because it doesn't just go there then come back like that it's mm. have, it have to go through some the process. process okay they have to do some make meetings before mm. and before that the, the main reason why they come and check the sizes some are building in waterlogged area yeah so yeah. when they come and it is waterlogged or streets or high tension area mm -hmm. then they will ask you to stop okay 
Okay, but aside that, you they're, so the best thing is go and get your get, get your permit. permit. When you go there, they will come and just do the inspection. After the inspection, they will just give you your go ahead. Okay, to build, to build. Okay, let's check out what these guys. Second, I don't know. Second, I do Yeah, so uh, things are ongoing here. Uh, Matthew is doing his thing. Other people are also working. They've been able to send their machine up there. So now they're going to start the work. It's not easy for nobody. Hey, so I'm still here. Um, I think I'm gonna spend the whole day here from the way things are looking. Just that when I'm hungry, I have to go to town, get food and walk about 40 minutes back to the side or back to somewhere else. So um, yeah, I'm just vlogging, giving you what is going on here. So like Matthew said, he advised that you, you, you get your building permit, get your architectural drawing, and then you get your building permit okay so uh whilst you have put in the application for a land you must definitely know which kind of building you want to put up and then we do the architectural drawing uh we do the printing the moment the indenture comes because you have to add the indenture to it the moment the indenture comes you add it to your architectural drawing and then um you add it to architectural drawing and then you put in the application but with borehole, fence, and all that, that one is, you, you can just do it whilst you're waiting for uh, whatever you want to wait for. So, yeah, we're doing our best. It is what it is. Peace out.